You'd be surprised how much arsenic there is in rice these days. People kill each other with arsenic. It's a very, very strong poison. White rice is a staple food of many people and they cannot live without it. So I run into this problem all the time. So I tell them that this is what you're going to do. You're going to first and foremost soak your rice in water and then discard the water after an overnight soak because it contains arsenic in it and other heavy metals. You'd be surprised how much arsenic there is in rice these days. You see? See the problem we have? Our sourcing of our foods. I mean, here as a cardiologist has to talk to his patients about how to cook rice. What is arsenic for people that don't know? It's a heavy metal that is found in the soil and the water. It's in contaminated soil and water and in these paddy fields are now full of arsenic. It's so a poison, isn't it? People, I watch a lot of true crime. People kill each other with arsenic. It's a very, very strong poison and it'll slowly kill you. You cool the rice in the refrigerator and then you eat the rice the next day by reheating it. Now, what you've done is you've created resistant starch. Now, what's going to happen is that that rice is not going to have the same insulin effect in your body and weight gain effect and changes in your metabolism because it's now got resistant starch. Resistant starch means that those molecules have all bound to each other. They don't, they resist absorption and digestion until they get to your colon. And then who's going to eat it? Your bacteria. So you're basically feeding the bacteria with your rice. So if you're going to have rice, this is the way you're going to do it.